Well, we'll get to that, but how much rain has fallen over the Western Carolinas in the past 48 hours is remarkable. This is a historic once in a generation event ongoing in the Western Carolinas, likely worsened by the mountains and the slopes and everything, changing the direction of that flooding and flash flooding. Radar estimates usually overdo it, but we are seeing anywhere between 15 to 20 inches possibly have fallen in those areas. Now, why does this matter for the PD and the Grand Strand. Well, it's all due to our area rivers. So our watersheds, which is where our areas get their or our area rivers, get their water. They all originate from Western North Carolina and flow down to the southeast. So for the PD, the Grand Strand and the Border Belt, we all get our water from the PD watershed from Western North Carolina. So as this trickles down, this is why our area rivers flow the way they do and then they drain into the Atlantic because so much water fell in the western North Carolina, western South Carolina area. That water will all take some time to get to our area rivers, but we could see some river flooding in the next week or two due to all of that rainfall. It'll just take a little bit to trickle down once it gets here. So a short term forecast for our rivers shows that we are likely to see some rising this week, but we'll likely need to see a forecast next week, which we'll get when we have the latest numbers from the rainfall totals, which will be fully finalized by the National National Weather Service likely this weekend.